Longman Preparation Series for the TOEIC Test Introductory Course by Lynn Lockheed Copyright 2004 Pearson Longman ELT A Division of Pearson Education All Rights Reserved The use of this audio program for the purpose of copying, transforming, or adapting in any manner, in whole or in part, is strictly prohibited without the prior consent of Pearson Education. CD1 Part 1 Picture Strategy Practice Look at these pictures and listen to the four statements. Choose the statement that most closely matches the picture. Listen again and see if you can recognize how an answer choice tries to confuse you. Number 1 Look at the picture marked number 1 in your book. A. The motorcycle is running down the road. B. The windows are sitting against the wall. C. The signs are hanging between the windows. D. The bike is leaning against the wall. Number 2. Look at the picture marked number 2 in your book. A. The man at the podium is making a speech. B. The accountant is sitting at his desk. C. The waiter is pouring water. D. The speaker is pointing at the microphone. Number 3. Look at the picture marked number 3 in your book. A. The newspaper is on the stand. B. The table is set for breakfast. C. The coffee cups are on the shelf. D. The pots are in the basket. Number 4. Look at the picture marked number 4 in your book. A. The plumbers are repairing the pipes. B. The architects are designing a building. C. The construction workers are walking across the beam. D. The children are playing with building blocks. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your book. A. He's hammering a nail into the wall. B. He's measuring the height of the tool. C. He's mailing the card in his hands. D. He's putting a note in his wallet. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your book. A. She's putting the hairs in a cage. B. She's hearing it again. C. She's sleeping in the chair. D. She's getting her hair done. Number 7. Look at the picture marked number 7 in your book. A. The television is in the middle of the room. B. The hotel room is ready for occupancy. C. Dirty clothes are piled on the floor. D. Room service trays are on the bed. Number 8. Look at the picture marked number 8 in your book. A. The shopping bags are empty. B. The passenger is checking his luggage. C. The tourist is pulling his suitcase behind him. D. The sidewalk is long and narrow. Number 9. 
Look at the picture marked number 9 in your book. A. A small bridge passes over the canal. B. The ice forms ridges on the water. C. The TV channel is on all day. D. A short boat crosses the river. Number 10. Look at the picture marked number 10 in your book. A. They're changing the locks. B. They're holding a box. C. They're opening a package. D. They're sealing an envelope. Part 2. Question. Response. Identifying time. Listen to the questions, which are followed by three responses. They will not be written out for you. Choose the best response to each question. Number 1. You were here this morning, weren't you? A. The sky was very clear this morning. B. No, I had a meeting at the hotel. C. He wasn't here. Number 2. When will you move your office? A. At the end of the month, I hope. B. It's my office. C. I don't go to the movies often. Number 3. Mark is always on time for dinner, isn't he? A. Yes, he's never late for anything. B. Yes, he looks a lot thinner. C. Yes, it takes a long time. Number 4. Has everyone shown up for the meeting yet? A. I really enjoyed meeting everyone. B. Yes, he is. C. We're still waiting for Mr. Roberts. Number 5. When is the new manager going to start work? A. Next Monday will be his first day. B. I knew him in high school. C. She goes to work by bus. Number 6. How much longer should we wait for them to arrive? A. He'll be here soon. B. This room is longer than the other one. C. Let's just wait another few minutes. Number 7. How long is the movie? A. About two and a half hours. B. About five miles. C. About two people falling in love. Number 8. Your meeting was shorter than expected, wasn't it? A. Yes, it's too small for me. B. Yes, it was over in less than an hour. C. Yes, he's shorter than I am. Number 9. What time does the plane take off? A. It leaves for New York. B. It leaves from gate 15. C. It leaves at 545. Number 10. When is your appointment with Dr. Kovacs? A. It's tomorrow afternoon. B. 
It's in his office. C. It's a doctor's appointment. Identifying people. Listen to the questions, which are followed by three responses. They will not be written out for you. Choose the best response to each question. Number one. Is the new secretary's name Bill or John? A. He paid those bills yesterday. B. I think he's called Bill. C. He'll fill those orders for you. Number two. Whose name is the reservation under? A. It's under the table. B. It's under my name. C. It's the same. Number three. Who didn't go to the meeting yesterday? A. Martha wasn't there. B. Yes, he did, and he told me all about it. C. It was a very informative meeting. Number four. Who's helping you with that report? A. It's Susan's. B. Eric's working on it with me. C. Yes, it's very important. Number five. What's the director's name? A. Let me give you the directions. B. We have the same one. C. It's Mrs. Sullivan. Number six. Who did you invite to the picnic? A. No, the picnic's not at night. B. Everybody in the office. C. We'll go inside if it rains. Number seven. Is that man your new assistant? A. Yes. He started working for me yesterday. B. No, he doesn't need any assistance. C. I love my new apartment. Number eight. Whose computer needs repairs? A. George is an excellent repairman. B. John's hasn't been working since yesterday. C. Judy is our computer expert. Number nine. Who has copies of the report? A. I copied it last night. B. Sam can make copies for us. C. I sent copies to everyone in our department. Number ten. Who's the new manager? A. Her name is Samantha. B. It belongs to Sylvia. C. I can manage it alone. Identifying an opinion. Listen to the questions, which are followed by three responses. They will not be written out for you. Choose the best response to each question. Number one. How is the new technician doing? A. He's doing a great job. B. He's repairing the fax machine. C. His name is Bob. Number two. What's your opinion of the plans for the new office? A. 
We'll have a planning meeting next week. B. We don't have any openings right now. C. I think they're wonderful. Number three. Do you think Sarah will finish that report on time? A. Not unless she works faster. B. It's time to go to work. C. I heard the news report on the radio last night. Number four. How does Bob like his new job? A. He's about thirty-five years old. B. I don't think he's very happy there. C. It's a new job. Number five. What do you think of this weather? A. I'm not sure whether I'll go. B. Yes, let's get together. C. I love a rainy day. Number six. Do you think John will be at the party? A. No, he wasn't there. B. No, I don't really enjoy parties. C. No, he's too busy this week. Number seven. How was the conference? A. It lasted several days. B. I thought it was boring. C. She's doing very well, thank you. Number eight. What's Nina's opinion of the change in plans? A. She says it's a good idea. B. She's all out of change. C. No, she didn't have to change planes. Number nine. What do you think of this color for my office? A. You should fill out the blue form. B. It is a bit cooler in here. C. I really don't like it at all. Number ten. What's your opinion of Albert's work? A. Yes, he works here. B. He always does an excellent job. C. He walks fast. Identifying a choice. Listen to the questions, which are followed by three responses. They will not be written out for you. Choose the best response to each question. Number one. Should I fax my reply or send it by email? A. Please fax it. B. Yes, you should try. C. I think you should relax. Number two. Should we take a taxi or the bus? A. A taxi would be faster. B. Yes, I think we should. C. Pay your taxes on time. Number three. Would you rather see a movie or watch TV? A. I need a new watch. B. That TV show was very moving. C. Let's go to a movie. Number four. Should we eat at home or go to a restaurant? A. I'd rather stay home. B. You can eat the rest.
C. I don't think they're home yet. Number 5. Which do you prefer, an aisle seat or a window seat? A. I'll sit down. B. I always sit by the window. C. Have a seat, please. Number 6. Which is better, the brown suit or the gray one? A. Fruit is better for you. B. The gray suit looks more professional. C. It's an old suit. Number 7. Would you prefer coffee or a cup of hot tea? A. Cold weather always makes me cough. B. Yes, it's very hot up here. C. Coffee with a little sugar would be nice. Number 8. Should I call you tonight or tomorrow? A. Tomorrow would be better. B. I'll stay two nights. C. Yes, I'll call you. Number 9. Would you rather take a plane or a train? A. Please take your time. B. Yes, I think it might rain. C. I'd feel more comfortable on a train. Number 10. Which do you like better, Italian food or Chinese? A. I really enjoyed my trip to Italy. B. I almost never eat Chinese food. C. I'm learning to speak Chinese. Identifying a suggestion. Listen to the questions, which are followed by three responses. They will not be written out for you. Choose the best response to each question. Number 1. Don't leave the office without telling me. A. Don't worry, I won't. B. Yes, you can telephone me at my office. C. No, he didn't leave the office. Number 2. Can't you figure out a cheaper way to get there? A. You can sleep when we get there. B. It wasn't too far away. C. These are the cheapest tickets I could find. Number 3. Isn't it time to sign the contract? A. Yes, we'll sign it tomorrow. B. Yes. I saw the sign. C. Yes, the train is on track 9. Number 4. Would you like me to fax this for you? A. Yes, I have all the facts. B. No, don't bother. C. I haven't faxed it. Number 5. Shouldn't we leave for the airport soon? A. I don't think we need to hurry. B. That report will be finished soon. C. Yes, I left it at the airport. Number 6. Why don't we have lunch at the coffee shop? A. The coffee shop is downstairs. B. I don't drink much coffee. C. 
That's a good idea. Number seven. Let's spend our vacation at the beach. A. We had a great vacation. B. That sounds like fun. C. No, we didn't spend a lot of money there. Number eight. Wouldn't you like me to help you carry those packages? A. Thank you, but they're not very heavy. B. You can check your baggage over there. C. Yes, these packages are for me. Number nine. Why don't you wait for me downstairs? A. We waited for hours. B. Okay. Look for me by the front door. C. Yes, my weight has gone down. Number ten. Why don't you paint your office a different color? A. Your office is cooler. B. My collar is too tight. C. I like the color it is now. Identifying a reason. Listen to the questions, which are followed by three responses. They will not be written out for you. Choose the best response to each question. Number one. Why didn't you make those photocopies? A. Yes, I made the copies. B. The copy machine is broken again. C. They're very nice photographs. Number two. Why is Boris always late for meetings? A. He's never on time for anything. B. Let's wait for him here. C. The meeting starts at eight. Number three. Did you take the bus to work again? A. Yes, I'm tired of driving all the time. B. The buses are all working. C. Let's take a walk in the rain. Number four. Why isn't Yoko in her office? A. The inner office is Yoko's. B. Yes, this is her office. C. She had to go to a conference downtown. Number five. Why don't you ever answer your phone? A. You can cancel it by phone. B. I'm always too busy to talk on the phone. C. I don't know the answer. Number six. Will Irene be at the meeting? A. Yes, she was there. B. Yes, I enjoyed meeting her. C. Yes, because she has to give the budget report. Number seven. Did Joe have an excuse for missing work yesterday? A. Yes, he had a doctor's appointment. B. Yes, I miss him very much. C. Yes, it was yesterday. Number eight. Why did you lock your office? A. I need a new clock in my office. B. There were some robberies around here recently. C. It's about a block from the office.
Number 9. Why are you using my computer? A. My computer is broken. B. Yes, you can borrow my computer. C. A computer is a useful machine. Number 10. Do you have a reason for leaving early? A. She left early. B. Spring is my favorite season. C. Yes, I have to catch a plane. Identifying a location. Listen to the questions, which are followed by three responses. They will not be written out for you. Choose the best response to each question. Number 1. Where will you spend your vacation? A. Perhaps I'll take the bus. B. I'm going skiing in the mountains. C. I won't spend much time there. Number 2. He's not from Tokyo, is he? A. No, but he travels there often. B. That plane isn't going to Tokyo. C. Yes, he took yours. Number 3. Is there a bank near here? A. Yes, I drank some too. B. Yes, there's one right next door. C. Yes, Frank is here. Number 4. How far is it to the water fountain? A. The mountains aren't far from the city. B. It's just at the end of the hall. C. The weather will be fair tomorrow. Number 5. Where do you keep the paper? A. There's some on that shelf behind the desk. B. I left the key in the door. C. I usually buy the morning paper at the corner store. Number 6. What's behind that door? A. Sam works right next door. B. I'll get you some more. C. It's the supply closet. Number 7. Is the restaurant far from here? A. It's all the way downtown. B. You can rest here. C. It's a fantastic restaurant. Number 8. Do you know where Janet is this week? A. Yes, it's this week. B. She's at a conference. C. She doesn't know what to wear. Number 9. Are there any good hotels downtown? A. It's an excellent hotel. B. Yes, there's one right near my office. C. Okay, I won't tell anyone. Number 10. Where did you put my messages? A. I'll leave you a message. B. Yes, you got several messages. C. They're on your desk. Part 1. Strategy Practice Listen to the questions, which are followed by three responses. 
They will not be written out for you. Choose the best response to each question. Listen again and see if you can recognize how a choice tries to confuse you. Number 1. When do you plan to retire? A. I had a flat tire. B. By the end of next year. C. They aren't required. Number 2. Who knows how to use this computer program? A. Lee can show you how to use it. B. It's Lee's computer. C. Yes, I do. Number 3. What do you think of the job applicants? A. This appliance will do the job. B. That's Bob's application. C. Not one of them is qualified for the job. Number 4. Do you want that sent to your home or office? A. Yes, please. B. I'll be home afterwards. C. Please send it to my office. Number 5. Shouldn't we send this by registered mail? A. Yes, that's a good idea. B. The mail hasn't arrived yet. C. I registered yesterday. Number 6. Why does this photocopy machine keep breaking down? A. I'm making copies now. B. It's time for a coffee break. C. It's a very old machine. Number 7. Is there a good place to eat lunch nearby? A. Place it on the table, please. B. I'm nearly ready for lunch. C. There's a sandwich shop on the corner. Number 8. The bus will be here soon, won't it? A. He'll be here shortly. B. It should be here in five minutes. C. It's almost noon. Number 9. Is Mr. Kim the new director? A. No, Mrs. Cho is. B. He's a very direct person. C. Yes, I know the director. Number 10. How's that book you're reading? A. I'm really enjoying it. B. Writing takes a long time. C. No, it isn't. Number 11. Did you order the office supplies or did Lucy? A. The supplies are all in order. B. Lucy ordered them. C. I'm sorry, it's out of order. Number 12. Would you like me to help you finish that assignment? A. I like this assignment. B. No, you don't have to sign it. C. Yes, I could really use some help. Number 13. Why didn't your wife come to the office party? A. The party was last night. B. She was busy at her job. C. 
Yes, she'll come to the party. Number 14. Where can I find the manager? A. Her office is upstairs. B. She's a very kind manager. C. I can manage her. Number 15. How long does it take to get downtown? A. I usually take the bus. B. He took it there. C. About 20 minutes. Number 16. Whose signature do we need on this document? A. I'll read it. B. Mary did. C. The director has to sign it. Number 17. Did you like the hotel you stayed at? A. I thought it was very pleasant. B. Yes, I would like some. C. We stayed three nights. Number 18. Would you prefer to eat in the office or should we go out? A. Yes, I would, thank you. B. Let's go out to eat. C. We should meet in the office. Number 19. Where should I put these letters? A. Just leave them on my desk. B. You can do it later. C. Mail the letters today, please. Number 20. When is your next dentist appointment? A. It was a real disappointment. B. It's a week from tomorrow. C. I think John will be appointed. Part 3. Short Conversations. Identifying Time. Listen to the conversation and then choose the statement that best answers the question. Number 1. I ordered that software last Tuesday. It should have arrived by now. This package came for you this morning. Maybe it's your new software. It is. Finally, it's here. Number 2. What a great time we had in Paris. Let's go back soon. I'd love to. But don't you think we should wait until next year? Maybe you're right. It was only last month that we were there. Number 3. Hey, Mark. I hear you got a new job. Congratulations. Isn't it great? But they want me to start this Monday. That's so soon. That is a little odd. Usually, they give you two weeks. Number four. You travel a lot for your job, don't you? Yes. I go to Tokyo at least once a month. I suffer from jet lag. Once a year would be enough for me. Number 5. Isn't the contract ready yet? We're all ready to sign it. I called the office this morning. They said we'd have it by this afternoon. This afternoon? I guess that's okay, as long as it's here before 3. Number 6. 
I bought this cell phone just last week, and already it stopped working. It has a one-year guarantee, so I'd be happy to give you a new one for free. Could you give me a better one this time? How about one with a five-year guarantee? Number seven. Did you sign up for next month's business conference? Not yet. I plan to send in my registration tomorrow. You'd better do it soon. Friday is the last day for registration. Number eight. I can't give you any copier paper today. I'm all out. You'll have to wait until next week. Next week? Why? Can't you get any before then, Tim? I only order office supplies once a month. Sorry. Number nine. I'm calling to find out when the repairs on my car will be finished. We're working on it now, and your car should be ready the day after tomorrow. That soon? Great. I thought I'd have to leave it there until Friday at least. Number ten. Am I very late? Have you been waiting for me long? Not really. My train arrived just fifteen minutes ago. I'm sorry. I thought it wasn't supposed to arrive until ten thirty. Uh, identifying people. Listen to the conversation and then choose the statement that best answers the question. Number one. Did you hear that Sam got a promotion? Yeah, Jim told me. Isn't it great? Yeah, but I wish Pat had gotten one too. She really deserves it. Number two. This is Miss Fujita. May I help you? Yes, I'm calling from the accounting office. May I speak with the director? I'm sorry, she's not in. I'm her assistant. Perhaps I can help you. Number three. What are your specials tonight? We have fresh shrimp and roast beef. Hmm. I think I'll just order something from the regular menu. Number four. Did anyone call while I was out? You have a message from Mr. Peters. He says he's finished painting the new office. Great. Please call him back and ask him to send the bill to the accounting office. Number five. Is this your office, John? No, it's Cindy's. Mine's the one at the end of the hall. How did you get such a nice office? Your boss must really like you. Number six. I just received a bill from Mrs. Ortega. Mrs. Ortega is your accountant. I thought Mr. Wilson was. He was, but then Bob recommended Mrs. Ortega. She does a much better job. Number seven. What's your daughter doing these days, Frank? She's at the university now. She's studying economics. Economics? I thought she would become a lawyer like you. Number eight. Oh, Marcia, have you seen Jim since his surgery? No, but Linda and I plan to visit him in the hospital this afternoon. Good, because his wife says he really wants visitors. Number nine. Martin, 
Isn't that Sandy's car parked by the front door? No, it's Tom's. You know, the new secretary. Well, he'd better move it. He parked in the director's space. Number 10. How much is the bus fare? It's $1.50. Do you want to transfer? No, but please tell me when we get to my stop. I'm going to the central post office. Identifying intent. Listen to the conversation and then choose the statement that best answers the question. Number one. Well, I made the call and I got the tickets for Sunday evening. Great. I'm so looking forward to this. They're my favorite band. Mine too. It's at the Capitol Theater. That's the best place for a concert. Number two. I'm so tired of this office. It's so ugly. Why don't you buy some new furniture? Or at least get a new rug? New things are so expensive. But I could paint the furniture I have now. Number three. I'd like to order a small plain pizza. Would you like that delivered, or will you pick it up? Deliver it to my office, please. Number four. I'm freezing cold. Then you probably don't want any ice cream. No. I need something to warm me up, like a cup of tea. Number five. Let's take a cab. It's raining. But just a little, and I have an umbrella. Let's walk. No, it's starting to rain harder. And here's a cab. Get in. Number six. Here's your order, ma'am. That'll be $25. Let me check my wallet. No, I don't have cash. Will a credit card do? That will be fine. Number seven. It's really cold in here. Why don't you turn off the air conditioning? Why would the air conditioning be on? It's winter. Oh, I see the problem. Someone left the window open. Number eight. This old fax machine never works. It's time to get a new one. Are you sure? Maybe it's not plugged in. Oh, you're right. How embarrassing. Number nine. Is that today's paper? Would you lend it to me a minute? Sure. Do you want to see today's headlines? No, I just want to check the movie schedule. Number 10. Buy this sweater. It looks good on you. Yes, and it goes well with my skirt. But for the party, I need a dress. You're right. It's a formal party, and a long dress is more suitable than a skirt. Identifying the topic. Listen to the conversation and then choose the statement that best answers the question. Number one. I'm so tired of having car problems. What? Your car broke down again? You won't believe this, but I ran out of gas. Number two. 
This steak is delicious. You should try it. Oh, no thanks. I don't like steak. You'll like this. It's the cook's specialty. Number three. I saw a nice looking restaurant not far from here. Yes, but I never go there. The service is terrible. That's too bad. Good service is important. Number four. I've booked you on the 4.30 flight. Wonderful. Where can I pick up the tickets? You can get them at the airport when you check in. Number five. Are you interested in that lecture called Buying Your First Home? No. I'd love to buy my own place to live. But I just don't have enough money. Maybe the speaker has some ideas about how to do it without a lot of money. Number six. The show starts at 5.15, so I'll meet you in front of the theater at 5. Okay. I can't wait to see this one. All my favorite actors are in it. I'll bring some snacks in case we get hungry during the show. Number seven. I'm sending this hamburger back to the kitchen. Why? It looks nice and tasty to me. Is it undercooked? It's overcooked. Look how burnt it is. Number eight. Did you see the headlines this morning? No. I didn't buy the paper because I was out of cash. You can read my copy. It's over there on my desk. Number nine. If you want to learn how to manage your finances, you should read this book. I don't have time for books like that. What I need is to earn more money. Maybe you should look for a new job then. Number 10. Can you come to my party? It's on Friday after work. I'd love to. Can I bring something to eat? There'll be plenty of food there, but you could bring something to drink. This is the end of CD 1.